Hello and welcome to my first Blender tutorial on alpha footage in Blender. Now, um, first I'm going to show you what our finished product is going to be like. So it's a video where you can just drag and drop and edit in your video editor once it's complete. And it's an easy way to create live action footage without doing too much. So uh, all we're using is a couple programs and they're all free if you have a Mac. And if you're using Windows, it's probably something that does the same thing. Just Google it. Okay, first, we need to go to Blend Swap to get this um, model I made. You're probably going to have to either have an account or make an account and then you can download it you can use this with you can use any other file if you have another spaceship or a bullet or something you want to animate and just change the alpha in the background but this is what we're going to be using in this tutorial alright now we're in blender so first you want to animate it. So you want to go to your first keyframe and drag your object to one side um, and insert a keyframe using I and then click lo location and then drag it to the last keyframe drag your um, your object to the other side press I and insert location. This is just a simple animation. Alright. So now when you drag it you'll see a simple animation. Okay. So now we need to make sure that there's no background that shows up when we export it. So we need to edit the settings in the properties. So first go to layers and make sure combined is checked and sky is not checked. Now we want to go down to output and make sure you output into image file. Um, I like PNGs so you're going to export them out into frames out into individual pictures because when you export out in a movie it tends to not keep the alpha and it's a lot easier if you just use pictures I don't know why so you want to make a new folder so that you don't have a million files all over the place and I put it on my desktop because it's easy to find and then you don't really have to name it anything alright make sure it's a PNG and you have RGBA selected that's very important not RGB RGBA. Okay. And now you want to render the animation. And um, I'm just going to skip this part because it's really boring. Alright, so I'll see you back when I finish the rendering. Boy, that was quick. Alright, so the image files, you'll be able to tell immediately if they have no alpha because they'll be white in the background. Alright, now next we're going to be using a program called Frame by Frame and it's usually used for stop motion and you can find it in the Mac App Store or whatever it's called for free and it's really a cool tool so you don't really need that. If you want to go up to Edit Import Images and select all of your images okay now they'll load and you can obviously see that they have transparent background now so now drag up to the start
Mm, okay. When you play it, it's probably going to look kind of slow. Alright, so it looks deadly slow because it's barely even moving it. So you want to change it up to 24 frames per second, which is probably the default for most settings, except for this because I don't know why. Okay, so that looks better. Now you're going to want to export. Save it. I'm just going to save it on my this folder here. Alright. Let's save the ship. Make sure you save it as PNG and high quality. Alright, I'll see you after this is finished exporting because exporting is boring. Alright, so now when you scroll down and here's your video. You should be able to see the animation. And, and this video should have the alpha. Now if you're going to use iMovie, I'm just going to quickly go over to iMovie and show you how to do that. Alright, so you have to take a some sort of file or video or picture and you just have to import the other one your alpha and click and drag it on top and then you get this um, and make sure that you go to preferences and click show advanced tools this is a very important step if you skip this you won't be able to do this in iMovie so make sure you do that thanks for watching hope this wasn't too dreadful for you too hard